Hey folks, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today we're discussing a real head scratcher. What to do when your check engine light is on, but you're not getting any diagnostic trouble codes. It's like your car is trying to tell you something, but it's speaking in riddles. Let's break this down and figure out what's going on under the hood. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. All right, let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about why this happens. There are actually a few reasons why you might be seeing that light without any corresponding codes. One, low-end OBD scanner. This is actually the number one reason, folks. If you're using a cheap or basic scanner, it might not be able to read all the codes your car is throwing. For example, a transmission issue can trigger a check engine light, but only a good quality scanner might be able to catch that. So if you're not getting codes, don't assume there aren't any. Your scanner might just not be up to snuff. 2. Intermittent issues. Sometimes the problem is like a mischievous gremlin. It pops up just long enough to trigger the light, but disappears before the system can log a code. This could be caused by a loose gas cap, a faulty sensor, or an electrical issue. It's frustrating, but it happens. 3. Pending codes. Now this is where things get interesting. Some issues are right on the edge of triggering a full-blown code. The car's computer notices something's not quite right, but it's not bad enough to set off alarms yet. These are called pending codes. Here's the kicker. Some OBD scanners can actually detect these pending codes. If you're not seeing any regular codes, it might be worth checking for these pending troublemakers. They're like the early warning system of your car's diagnostics. 4. Recent battery disconnect. If you've recently had your battery die, or you've disconnected it, the system might need some time to reset and show codes. It's like rebooting your computer. Sometimes it takes a minute to get everything back online, you know? 5. Issues with the OBD2 port. Speaking of communication problems, sometimes the diagnostic port itself can be the culprit. Debris, corrosion, or damage to the port can prevent proper communication. It's like trying to have a conversation with a mouthful of peanut butter. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brian, that's great and all, but what do I actually do about it? Don't worry, I got you covered. Here are some steps you can take. First, make sure it's actually the check engine light. I know it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how often people mix up their warning lights. The check engine light usually looks like an engine outline or says check engine or service engine soon. It's typically amber or orange. If it's a different symbol altogether, you might be dealing with a different issue. Next, try driving for a while. Sometimes the system needs time to run through its diagnostics and set a code. Take the car for a good 15, 20 minute drive, including some highway time if possible. This gives the system a chance to monitor everything under different conditions. It's like giving your car a chance to warm up and stretch its legs. If that doesn't work, it's time to try a different scanner, preferably a high quality one. Now here's where things get a bit more technical. Some scanners can detect pending codes. These are issues that the system has noticed but hasn't decided are serious enough to trigger a full code yet. If you're seeing pending codes, that's a big clue about what might be going on. Borrow one from a friend or head to your local auto parts store. Many of them will scan your car for free with professional grade equipment. If you're getting codes with a different scanner, well, you might need to invest in a new one of your own. Remember, when it comes to OBD scanners, you often get what you pay for. While you're at it, check for any blown fuses, particularly the one for the engine control unit. A blown fuse can cause all sorts of weird behavior.